Well, here we are in the spreadsheet and we're ready to process uh, the results. Now, <clears throat> what I've got already here on the spreadsheet is the, and the intensity and I'll put those down here and then the distance, I'll put that in. Now, first of all, I'll put in 0.3 metres, press enter, and again, 0.35 for our next reading. And to make life easier, I'll just select those two, put my pointer over here on this square, this black square on the corner, and pull down until I get to 85 centimetres or 0.85 metres. So that's my data there. Now, next step is to graph that. And <clears throat> the x-axis is going to be uh, distance, the y-axis there will be intensity. So if I click select the data like that, go up here to insert. I need to insert a graph, so I click insert, go across here to where it says scatter and click that. Now here I've got quite a number of options, but the option I want to select is this one here. So click that one and here that's generated the graph as simple as that. So <clears throat> this legend over here, I don't want that. So I'm just going to delete it. It gives me a little bit more space. And uh, I'll also move this down so we can see it a little bit better. Move this back up again. With any graph, what I should do is put in a, a chart title or a graph title. So I click on here. And go across here then to chart titles, click on that, I'll click above the chart. So I can type in here now intensity versus distance. And the other thing that I need to put in here are axis titles. So I click over here, move over here, and you can see where my pointer is at the moment, axis titles. I go to primary horizontal title, and I go title below the axis. So there it is there. I click on that and select it and type in here distance. And I need to put in the units, of course, so that's meters. And I need to put in the, the titles uh, and uh, for the vertical axis or the labels, I should say. So here, title again, go to vertical axis. Now, the one that I like is this one here. It doesn't matter which one uh, you put in really, but here it is. And what I'll put in here now is intensity. And... I'll put in the what I'm using as units, which is the percentage. So when I look at this graph, what I can see here is what we suggested when we were looking at the paper version. Uh, it suggests some sort of inverse relationship. Now, the next thing that I'm going to try in order to get a straight line, in fact, is going to be 1 over the distance squared. So <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll just move this down and out of the way, and I will create in here uh, another column, which is uh, 1 over distance squared. So I'll put in a label, distance squared, which will be raised to the power of 2. So I'll select that. In order to put distance squared, I'll go up here to, to home and I'll go across here to uh, superscript, click superscript there and click OK. So I've got one over distance squared there. And in order to get the data for the one over distance squared, all I'm going to do is put in a formula for starters and all formulas must start with an equal sign. <clears throat> so, to pipe in equals, 1 over uh, this cell, the value in that cell squared. So, that raised to the power of, so this is the hat that we 
sometimes call it, uh, to, and if I press enter now, that's the value that I will get. What I want to do now is to copy the formula down into the rest of the cells. So in order to do that, I simply uh, select the cell, move the pointer over the black square here that's on the corner. So click here, click and hold. So I've got my finger on the mouse and pull that down and get it right down to the uh, last value there. And that's created all of those. So I don't have to do that with a calculator or a whole lot of mucking about. And I want to uh, graph this on uh, the x-axis and uh, uh, intensity on the y-axis. So what I'm going to do is just make a copy of this column. So I'll go down here, select that, control C to copy, click up here, control V to paste. Now I've got some ants crawling around here. I don't like ants, so I'm going to press escape to stop that. I'm now going to graph these two. So what I need to do is select these cells and go up here to insert. I'm going to insert a scatter graph again. Click here and there you can see I've got a graph that looks something like a straight line. So that looks all very good. Now I do need to reposition this and to change the size. I'll move this across here. I will delete the legend here. I don't need the legend. I'll just make this a little bit smaller. And again, I need to put in a title, a graph title, axes, uh, label the axes with the, uh, the units as well. So I click here on layout and again go over here to chart title and go down here to above the chart and it's intensity versus one over distance squared. Okay, selecting the two, going up here to home, going down here to superscripts, clicking there, going OK. Again, uh, the labels for down the bottom there, the x-axis. So I go up here to layout again, making sure I go across here to axis title. I'm going to go to horizontal, axis title, title below the axis, and that axis title is distance squared, one over distance squared. And again, the label and uh, units for the vertical axis. So I'll go up to layout again, across here to axis titles, down here to vertical axis, uh, and the horizontal one, and type in here intensity percent. So we can see there that the shape of that graph is linear. It does indicate that intensity and one over distance squared are related in a proportional way, simple proportional. What I'm going to do then is to, in fact, put in a line of best fit. Uh, we can do that with our, uh, with our spreadsheet. Again, in order to do that, we go across here to where it says trend, trend line. So trend line is another way for another way of saying line of best fit. So I click linear trend line, and you may not. Hopefully, you can see there there is a black line that's going through that. So we've got quite a neat straight line there. The other thing that we can do is put an equation on this chart. In order to do that, we go up here to trend line. Down here to more trend line options, click that, 
And right down the bottom here, or almost down the bottom, it says display equation on the chart. So if I do that and click close, there it is, the equation. And you can see there the value of the gradient there. So we've worked that out to quite a number of decimal places, and this is quite handy in uh, other circumstances as well. So what we have shown there, as I mentioned, is that we do have a relationship, a clear relationship between intensity and 1 over the distance squared. Now that relationship is referred to as the inverse square law. So it applies not only to brightness versus distance, in other words, the further we are away from an, uh, a bright object, the, uh, the less bright it is in, in proportion to 1 over the distance squared. Now this same inverse law applies not only to light, but it also applies to, to a single source of sound. Uh, it would apply also to, uh, to gravity uh, around a planet. Uh, to uh, electrostatic forces around a spherical, uh, a spherically charged object. So there it is, it's an important law, and uh, we've got a reasonably decent result coming from our experiment.